The greens in my green stock turned out pretty good. And it's so funny because some of the spinach and some of the lettuce are still holding on even after our frost. My grasses managed to throw up my little plumes. I think that's what they're called. Next year they should be better. My green giant arborvitas. They did pretty good too this year. See the other ones in shape. And then my Rose of Sharon. You can't even see them right there. There's six of them. I can't wait till spring and I can see what they look like. And I'm going to put more garden beds here, put a thick layer of mulch down the walkway here. So this will be a big, thick, wide walkway. And then I'm going to mirror what I did over here. Over here, with the exception of I'm also putting a greenhouse. So I want to break ground for the greenhouse probably in the spring. It is getting cold. It is getting very cold. We went to um, the Christmas place near us and we found us a um, little Christmas tree. I thought I was going to have to put it in the porch because I thought that I wouldn't have any room for it in the house. Hey, duck ducks. But we made room. And here's our little Christmas set up now. Very, very, very small living room. I haven't even measured it. But it's very small. A lot smaller than our old living room. So this is a very small tree. I think it, it was still six feet, but it's very skinny. And I had to cut some of it out to make it skinnier. I fit it in between these two chairs, which I love, and the little kitten that Lexi brought in the house. Oh look, there's a sock. <laughs> Great. Anyway, the little kitten that Lexi brought in the house uh, has been taking all my ribbon off. I think next year I'm going to do like beads instead of this ribbon, make it look more tidy. Um, I know, I found my star. I was using the snowman. My days are off, too. There's less than 13 days. But anyway, life has been chaotic this year. So I have decided to downsize in our pets because I'm going to have to get an actual permanent job at some point this year which I'm trying to find something that I actually enjoy going to and I can actually do. And that's going to involve less pets because I have enough to take care of. Um, so that one has to be rehomed. I'm letting Lexi find her home somewhere that she can get her back when she's 18 because that's only a couple years away. And Dixie... She's going to have to be rehomed, which I'm letting Shane either take her or decide who to let keep her and try to make sure they find good homes. April, I'm keeping just because she doesn't ever cause me any problems and she usually hides most of the time. <laughs> and she's got some skin problems going on because she's allergic to fleas and that little one keeps bringing fleas and I don't know. She's just a little flea magnet. I I have both of the big animals on flea medication. But this one, I've washed her a million times. And she's still a flea magnet. Which is probably because I haven't um, been able to spray every nook and cranny and 
clean from top to bottom, but there's so many hiding places for fleas to be in this house. And I just, you guys, I'm stressed out. I'm stressed to the max. So my dad eventually is going to get all this stuff out and then I'll be able to push my table back and get some benches and then a couple chairs to go around the round table. I have this up, which makes a world of difference because now I have somewhere to put dishes and food. And then I also have my china cabinet, which I put a bunch of my breakables in. Eventually I'm going to organize it better, but my goodness. And it freed up my fireplace because I had a lot of breakables in that. Um, then I plan to get some shelves and put on the wall behind my benches that I put in there. And the laundry room is chaotic still, but eventually everything will come together. I got my hibiscus flat, uh, trees in here, which the cat, the little kitten keeps using as a litter box, which is another reason why she just is getting on my nerves and a very already stressed out year. Look, my amaryllis came back. I bought these last year. I just put water in them. I've had them stored and I haven't done anything with them all year and they started to grow back. So, but anyway, so my laundry room situation is very chaotic. A lot of this stuff is my dad's and mine. We don't have nowhere to put it. Um, but anyway, my dad and I were talking and we're going to go ahead with, um, construction maybe next starting next year sometime and this whole area here will be torn out and adding on to the back we will be putting two bedrooms there so right here this wall will be gone there will be a hallway that goes down here because this is my dad's room so the hallway will curve here and there will be a door at the end down here that goes out towards the garage and then there will be two bedrooms right here. And that will be where the kids' bedrooms, the boys' and the girls' bedrooms, will be. And that way, I can turn their bedroom into my office. Because I'm really hoping that I can find an online job. And eventually, we're going to have a business that I'll tell you more about as it unfolds. So I need a space to do all of that. Slowly, everything is coming together and making me feel better. Something's got to give, right? Divorce is hard on everybody in the family. And it's so funny because it seems like even when it's not the husband, the wife, and the kids... And like the in-laws it seems like it trickles down and I don't know <clears throat> if it's because everybody wants to be involved even people that you don't ever see maybe those people were just rooting for you and they're really upset that it didn't work out I really wish that those people would understand that sometimes not everything is as it seems and if you haven't been present in those people's lives, then you really can't judge it. Even though you'll say, oh, well, everything looked perfect from the outside. Yeah, it usually does. Because people usually don't like airing their laundry. I know that we live in like a really social world. And a lot of people do air their laundry out on like social media. But most people don't. And I don't feel like airing any of my life. I have this channel. And on this channel, I can choose what I share with everybody. And it's usually not doom and gloom what I like to share. But I know that we all feel it and we all go through it. Everybody has feelings. A lot of people don't like to show them. Um... I don't like to show the bad. I like to show the good. And I know that sometimes showing the bad can probably benefit other people, especially people that are going through it. But, um, I mean, that's why I'm going to 
be a counselor because there is a time and a place to share those things with other people. And usually it's in confidence and in private. So that's not what this is. <laughs> but yeah, in January I go and I start um, my schooling to be to get my master's because I want to be a counselor. So I actually put my foot down and I'm like, you know, there's no time better than now to do it. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, till then, right now I'm just looking for a job. The kids are in school and they're doing great. Nolan, he's struggling a little bit, but I knew he would because um, when I was working for DCS, he needed more help than what I gave him. And he fell back a lot, actually. But he's in a good place now where he's getting the help that he needs to get to the level that he needs to be. Lexi's doing good. She's going through her teenage problems. Um, she's getting to experience all that. So I'm kind of really glad that I put her in school because now she gets to experience life the way I experienced it and a lot of other that went to public school did so that life doesn't necessarily smack her in the face when she leaves my doors when she's an adult do i wish that i could have continued homeschooling yes i do because i feel like it was a more controlled environment and i got to control what my children were exposed to but that wasn't in the cards for me they're doing good now and I feel that I'm adequate enough to, as they have problems, I can step in and I can tell them, you know, you have me and um, if you have anything that you need to talk about, you can talk to me about it. Like, I feel like they are confident enough in me to come to me if they have problems because they already have. So hopefully if they're watching this years from now, they know, like, Mom tried. No parent has a manual at being at how to be a parent. We just try the best we can. We try to be there the best we can. We all make mistakes. You'll make mistakes when you're grown ups with your kids. And it sucks because none of us like to make mistakes. Um, Anna, she's doing really well in her schooling, and so is Skylar. Skylar's actually pretty advanced in a lot of things, which I pretty much knew. And Anna had her winter dance, or not winter dance, her winter program where she sung some cute songs. That was fun to go to. Skylar had his first dance, and so did Lexi. So that was interesting. Just a lot of interesting different dynamics going on this year. Like, there's honestly been more stuff that's went on this year that I could even have time to put in this video. <laughs> Um, but I'm sure if any of you went from being a homeschool parent to sending your kids to public school, you know the drill. And then on top of that, we've dealt with the divorce and Shane living next door. Which, just so you all know, me and him are really good friends still. And we still talk, usually on the daily. So, I continue, I, I plan to continue that. And I have some other things in the works going on with my dad, because he's doing great. And I'm really thankful that I have him. I couldn't have made it through this year if I didn't have him. So definitely a <clears throat> huge shout out to my dad because he's been my rock this year. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much a sum up for my year. I don't know if I'm going to make another video for the new year. I mean, until the new year because a lot has been going on and it's just really hard for me to jump in and make videos. So for the people that do follow me and do care, I just figured I'd let you know what's up and that there's definitely more in store from the Bradleys slash will be Jordan Black Bradley blend. I'm going to take my maiden name back, which is why I decided to change the name of the channel because it's not Bradley Family Farm anymore. Seasons of Life. There's more to that in the future, and I don't want to really talk about it too much, but you'll hear why I changed the name to that in particular. 
if you follow along. <laughs> I hope you all have a blessed Christmas. Thank you for following along. Thank you for caring. Prayers are definitely appreciated. And have a great day.